muddy, southern, dirty. These uh, one thing I've noticed about the diamonds, when you even when you play them like like unplugged, mm -hmm. they really have a lot of uh, projection, I guess. Yeah. They're really they're really alive. Resonance, I think yeah, that's those. Yeah, they're sonically sonically aware. They're sonically delicious. These are loud too. I mean, the the Imperial is super loud. Yeah. On its own. When it's unplugged, it's got a lot of projection. EBZ guitars, they're sonically delicious. <laughs> Trademarked, copyrighted. Trademark. Yo. <laughs> so I'm here with uh, Tim and Adam. We've been having fun talking guitars, playing on some MGs. And uh, we, had, we were talking earlier about how guitar players buy with their eyes. Yeah? Do y'all agree with that? Tim, what do you think? I think so. Absolutely. Whenever you, uh, whenever you walk into a, a store, what's the first thing that catches your attention? How the guitar looks. Yep. And, uh, you know, to a certain degree it's good because if a guitar looks good, you want to pick it up and play it. But, um, it doesn't necessarily, necessarily mean that's going to be the best sounding guitar. It might not be the best sounding, yeah. but it definitely catches your attention first. Yeah. Right? That's correct. That's, That's correct. So, well, what do you think, what does a guitar need to look like to catch your attention, Adam? It needs to be green. Even though I don't own a green guitar, if it's green, I'll look at it. <laughs> you might pick it up if it's green, right? Yep, I sure will. Or a silver burst. Silver burst for sure. <laughs> uh, gold burst, which doesn't really exist that much, but I would... A gold burst. A gold burst? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've seen a gold burst. I've seen two. What kind of guitars were they? There's an Explorer and there's a Les Paul. Oh. And they're both a Bill House, Bill Mastodon. Mastodon Bill. Yeah. Okay, no, I've seen those. Yeah. The Golden Axe. The Golden Axe and the House Gone. That's those are pretty sexy, yeah. Yeah. Kill her. Kill her. Kill it. Kill her. Kill her. So, uh, Jeff, I'm just saying if there was a hail fire that came out of the gold burst with gold hardware, I'm just saying. <laughs> if you could get a diamond guitar and a gold burst with gold hardware, it might be a keeper. Would I? Yes, I would. If I could get one. You know, I, or I, if I could get it in that Kenny Hickey green. I could, uh, I could maybe do a special run RNA diamond guitar. That's true. You know what I, I've always liked in terms of the color? I like hot rod colors. Like anything that looks like it could have been a, like a car. Like hemi green? Yeah, well, yeah, I mean if it, um, like red metallic flake or, um, you know, even the green metallic flakes. But if it looks like, a, like it's a hot rod, you know, like this guitar matches some sort of classic sports hot rod kind of thing. Well, like the, the lower model? Uh, Hellfire with the red stripes in the corner that looks like the Fallout Boy guitar. Yep. And then like the the old Imperial and whichever the one next to it is like with the racing stripes down the middle. Yeah. Like those immediately you're gonna draw your eye a little bit. Yeah. You know the Chris Mitchells the stripies. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Those are stripe in it. Yeah. If it's got a stripe on it, it must go fast. Uh, yeah. Those. But those are just. Chris Mitchell, those are gorgeous guitars, sir. Those are pretty cool. I don't, I don't have any stripies yet. Not yet. We're, we're working on it. Angela wants one. She wants the Bubba Blue <laughs> stripey, yeah. like for her. I'm like. But even that, I mean, you can see that as a sports car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think like yeah. the ultimate like 
like just a rich guy guitar from Chris Mitchell would be you spend the money to get the stripey body, but then you have to paint the top. So like you don't know it's a stripey until you flip it over. <laughs> so no one knows. That's just for you. It's, your little it's, a, it's yeah. only a stripey on the yeah. back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Jeff's into cars though, man. He is. He, he is in. <laughs> The Diamond guys are into hot rods and cars, so that's kind of they take. Yeah, I think so, they take a lot of influence on that on the well, guitars. Even, even like with the the T style and the, the the Hailfire, they still have the the natural wood models. They still have a stripe. You know. They do. There's a racing stripe. Yep. They go. They go faster. For sure. You automatically increase your guitar playing speed by fifteen percent. Possibly thirty. Yeah, Robert Baker using, using the, uh, the striped guitars. Yeah, yeah. I think Robert Baker was about thirty percent better on his playing with his new uh, <laughs> diamond guitar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Obviously. I've, I've I've seen him on Skype before the diamond. He was slow. Yeah, definitely slower. Definitely. Because I don't rock as hard as Adam does. I don't, I don't rock that hard. Not, I just not, noise. not many of us do. How do you like the Mesa, Adam? I like the Mesa. It's no orange, but it's pretty good. That's true. Well, it's a, it's an early '90s. It is. Dual it's red. still that's 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 uh, points right there for being that. And it's got like 20 year old tubes in it too, so mm-hmm. I probably need to retube it at this point. I got I got kind of excited when I saw Fluff was talking about trying to sell that uh, 50 cal. Yeah. And he's trying to clean out gear, but then he keeps putting it in videos, so I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know. Are you selling it or you not, yeah. bro? Like, what's <laughs> the deal? Let, let, let me let the brother know. I'm just saying. Just just tell somebody. Yeah. <laughs> lighting where's my lighting there's there's the good lighting hey it's been a good day it's been a very good day adam's already gone he had to go me and tim had some dinner where do we have dinner man we went to <laughs> selfie stick <sighs> well, uh, some mexican food restaurant ochoa's ochoa's oh, that's right i shouldn't have known that <laughs> I, I took us there yeah we went there what was ochoa's what'd you think we dined. We dined. Uh-huh. We drank Dr. Pepper. We drank Dr. Pepper. We laughed like kings. We yeah. We just. It was great. How was how was the Ochoa's? It was awesome. It's pretty good. <laughs> Seriously, if you're in Canton, great salsa. We got like 47 Mexican restaurants here in Canton, Texas, but uh, this is the one that me and Angela and my dad go to. So way to take ten. It was good. Good stuff. Good day of guitars. And yes, and, and chatting Adam. and jamming and Adam Lamar and uh, you know just general guitar Saturday. Always a blast at RNA music. It is. I never so. a Keep the music alive. Is this where I go wheedly wheedly wheedly? That's that's exactly where you go. Wheedly, wheedly. Okay, wheedly 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 wheedly. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>